Hello everyone, welcome to our database project which is Fantasy Premier League where we have used Oracle Database along with PLSQL and used JavaFX as framework. A special thanks to our Tarek Mahmoud sir for his guidance. Let's see the project, hope you will enjoy it. As a new user, user need to sign up providing username with other information. We have kept password as hash value using MD5 encryption. Using them manually based on their current points, market value or searching their name from the list. User can pick automatically if user have short of time maintaining the remaining money. Finally, user can put an iconic name for his or her team to start an amazing journey with FPL. Next, after game week 9, highest point and average point made by of all user teams are shown. Then total number of transfer of this week and name of most transfer player are shown. Again, total number of trial cards and played and the player chosen as captain by most of the user teams are shown. Wildcard is a privilege of user team which allows it to transfer with free of charge. Next, top player of each game week and overall dream team till last game week has been shown. Then this week's top 5 transfer in and out are shown respectively. Then the best leagues which is based on average points made by user team and the most valuable team which is based on the team value are shown also. User can see player's overall performance by clicking information button I where he can check upcoming matches players going to attend from the fixture table and also what is his story so far till the last game week. User can also see the most valuable teams formation points and the players of each game week so that he can compare his team with the others. After completing, user can either sign up or log on. Next, if user has an account already, he need to sign in. In user team, user can have 15 players, 11 on the field, 4 on the bench as substitutes. There are th 3 tips, or in other words, privileges users can apply of which only one of them can be applied on the ongoing game week. User can see team's formation either in pitch or list view. There are four types of information user can check as viewing individual performance from the first game week to the last, switching fields player with the bench players and vice versa. You can also choose captain and vice versa his captain. Next, in point section, team formation, player statistics, points of user team for each game week can be found. User team's points is calculated based on the performance of each team player. Each team player's points is measured on scoring goals, considering goals, assisting to goals, considering dead yellow cards, on field time, penalties saved or missed, fair play scores. The highest score will help user to compare his score with it. In transfer window, I can transfer as many as possible without crossing the limit of my budget. If I want to replace a midfielder, midfielder list will pop up. Every week I have one more free transfer. I can also play wildcard chip only once. Playing wildcard means my free transfer are unlimited. In this situation, I can't transfer because my remaining money is not enough. After making my transfer under my budget, I will be able to make transfers. Since I made transfer more than my free transfers, 4 points for each extra transfer will be deducted from my next week total points next leaks there are three type of leaks private leaks public leaks and global leaks private leaks are two kinds one is classic and other is head to head anybody can join classic leak at any time but in case of head to head leak nobody can join after generating the fixture in classic leak standing table league teams are sorted by their total points and also has an indicator that indicates whether your rank is being upgraded or degraded than that of previous week If I am the administrator of any league, I can delete that league. Also, I can see the code of that league which I can share. Other who are not an administrator can see the code and can delete the league. In this case, I can delete this league because I didn't create this league. 
For head to head leaks, there are a standing table and a fixture table. I can see leak fixture by selecting any game week from leaks starting game week. Now public leaks. Joining public leak means I will be joined randomly to a league which is public. And the other is global league. Global league has every user team as league team. Next fixture. This is premier league fixture. The matches of previous week fixtures have team scores. Next statistics. We can see particular position player list and also particular teams player list and we can sort the list by their points and cost. There is also a option to search player by their name. And the option is there to see each player's previous game week history and future fixture. And at last, APL rules. Here we have our full database with corresponding ERD diagram and tables. We have implemented 3 procedures, 9 functions and 2 triggers of which average point leak procedures take takes Gimic as parameter and update average points of each leak teams. Best leak function returns top 5 best leaks based on their average points. Dream team function returns the best 11 of dream team based on their points so far. Most valued team functions takes Gimic as parameter and returns top returns top 5 available teams based on their value so far. Top transfer in and out both of the function takes game week as parameter and return top 5 transfer of the week. Top game week player functions takes game week as parameter and return the top player of the game week. Status info function simply takes game week as parameter and return the highest points and average points of all user of all user teams and total transfers and top captain's name and top transfer player's name. Functions. Global league take user id as argument and return current and previous week rank of this user. Global league team return list of all user id with their ranks. Public league procedure assign user to a random public league and also create public league if needed. Now triggers. Delete league trigger delete league team of that leagues before deleting classic league. Delete head to head league trigger, delete both league team and league fixture of that league before deleting that league. Thanks for watching. Asalaamu Alaikum.